Hey everybody and welcome to Make It With Mod Podge. I'm Steve Piacenza. Today, Kathy is going to be using some fabric Mod Podge, some holiday fabrics to make some family friendly holiday looks. So Kath, take it away. Welcome back everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. My name is Kathy Fillion and like Steve said, we're doing some fun fashion crafts today and we're using one of my favorite formulas in Mod Podge and that is the fabric formula. With the fabric formula, you can add fabric to fabric just like we did here on this really cute little red dress. And this is a really fun no-sew project I'm gonna show you today that you can make your own holiday fun, I guess, you know, like ugly sweater. You can do this on an apron. You could do this on a plain stocking even. It's really endless. So I made this design here for myself just with the two candy canes. And then I did hand sew this fun gold bow to the center. Um, but this design here, all of this is done with the Mod Podge fabric. So the tree and even all of the embellishments. And I'm gonna show you how to do this one. And I've got a few fun tips and tricks for you today. So today I'm making it with Mod Podge. It's all about making some fun Christmas fashions. So let's dive right in. Uh, the first thing I wanna talk to you about is what types of fabrics are gonna work best on this. We had a comment on our YouTube video last week. Um, it was an older video, but they were saying, oh, I didn't like the fabric formula because it didn't work with felt. Fabric Mod Podge does not work great with felt, okay? So you're gonna wanna use cotton fabrics. This is a cotton poly blend uh, t-shirt dress that I picked up at a big box store. Um, for this project, I did pre-wash my things. You don't have to necessarily pre-wash it, but if you're going to be washing it and using it um, over and over again and not just like a decorator item, then I recommend pre-washing in case your fabric's gonna shrink any, especially with 100% cotton. So 100% cottons work, cotton poly blends work, uh, wools will work, silk is not gonna give you a very good um, outcome, and no felt, okay? So let's dive right in. I wanna share my first tip for you so for the tree here, what we're gonna do is cut out the tree from our polka dotted fabric. So I just got this awesome green polka dotted fabric. And what I like to do is, this is freezer paper, okay? So I like to iron freezer paper to my fabric before I cut it out. And freezer paper comes in a roll like this and it's got a light waxy coating on one side and paper on the other. This is found where you find um, tin foil or cling wrap or anything like that. Sometimes it might be called butcher paper, but you specifically need the kind that has the wax on the back because the wax is what um, sticks to the back of your fabric. So once you've done that, you're ready to just cut out whatever shape you want. Again, we're doing the tree here. You can do the candy cane shape like I did up here on this t-shirt, so whatever shape you want. If you wanted to do Santa's face or a stocking or an ornament shape, it doesn't matter. Um, you can hand sketch it or download some clip art or use a stencil as a guide. I have some tree clip art that I was using for a different project, so I'm just using that one. Once you've done that, you just wanna go around with a marker and trace it out onto the paper. Just go around it, real, real simple and then you'll be ready to cut it out. And why I like using the freezer paper is it's so much easier to cut out your design. If you are trying to do an intricate design and cut it out of the fabric without the paper backing, you might not get those really smooth um, edges. So now you'll just go around. You can see how easy it is. And if this didn't have the paper backing, this would be a lot harder to do. So you just go around and cut out your design. And then once you're done, you will peel the paper off and now you have your fabric ready to be appliqued down. So this is like no sew project, right? So it's kind of like applique with fabric Mod Podge. And you definitely wanna make sure you use the fabric formula. It is machine washable, fabric to fabric. I also use it on home decor stuff a lot lamps and all sorts of things. So for this project, you're gonna wanna use like a one inch flat brush, like so. And I've got another piece here, my little tree trunk. So I'm gonna start with my tree trunk. Go ahead and peel. 
I did the same thing. See, you just peel it right off. You don't even get any wax on there. So let's see where we're gonna line up our tree, right there. So we'll put our trunk about right there, okay? So I'm just gonna add our fabric Mod Podge to the back of the fabric. This is so simple, guys. Kids will love doing these too. And we're doing these funny holiday ones, kind of like the ugly holiday sweater. But you could do these for any season, sports teams, whatever you want. Go ahead and just position that down, just like so. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on our tree fabric. So just go in and fabric mod podge, look how thick it is. That was another comment. Someone said, oh, I was surprised how thick it was. Yes, it is a much thicker formula. This is not like regular Mod Podge. This is a fabric formula. So think of it as almost like a fabric glue, but most fabric glues you can't brush on like this. So this is really so cool for home decor, but also for these fun, quick fashions. Go ahead and add that all to the back. You wanna make sure you get all those edges really good because you want that to seal down. Just like so. Now for this type of a project, I would be hand washing it. Um, if you seal the top of the fabric, you can machine wash it, but I always uh, line dry. Let's go ahead and lay that into position. I should have some baby wipes here. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not making a mess on it. Go ahead and lay that down. Looking so cute already. And the dry time is not too bad on this. I would definitely let it dry overnight before you, you know, really wear it. Um, before you wash it, you're gonna wanna let it cure a little longer. Sometimes I run an iron on it just to heat set it, but it's not really necessary. That's just <laughs> my old school ways. So now let's do some embellishing. And on here, I did some chunky yarn for our little sort of snow. And then you can do, any kind of embellishments. I just have this box of holiday, but so pom-poms, gems, you can even sew. So like here's a button, so you could sew a button on there if you wanted to. Um, you can see over here, I layered up these different bows. So, you know, you can really get fun with it. And for these projects, I wasn't so worried about like how durable it would be, because it's more about, you might be having a Zoom party, or you might be having a cocoa night or something like that, and you just want something fun and festive. Now this is also a really great idea if you're doing holiday photos and you want everybody to be matching or something like that, you can create your own looks, really simple. And these little red dresses were like seven bucks at one of the big, uh, <laughs> the big box stores, I guess is what we say, right? <laughs> So now let's see how we're going to add our trims. So for the trims, I'm using the same formula, just a smaller brush. You just go right along that edge and it's gonna dry perfectly clear. Whoop, I got a little, oh gosh, guys, I'm making a big mess. So if you do that, let's see, I don't even have any baby wipes here. I would baby wipe that is what I would do just to get it up while it's wet. Go ahead and add that along. Just wanna show you getting this first snow down so you can see. Now this formula is thick. You might be thinking, Kathy, why don't you put that in a squeezer bottle? Uh, because we do use, and what I mean by a squeezer bottle is something like this candy bottle. This is liquid, um, this is just the gloss formula, and it's a lot more liquidy. So this formula is really thick, so a squeezy bottle would be great, but it doesn't really work that well because it's such a thick formula. So let's go ahead and get our little snowy trim placed right in there. So that's how you can glue down a trim. You can do yarn, ribbon, whatever you want. I just love this, it looked like a little bit of snow. And now I wanna show you how you can add some of your embellishments. So what I have going on over here, some pom-poms, and I've got these fun little holly leaves. So let's add, for the holly leaves, you can just add a little bit of your fabric Mod Podge to the back, place it down, and add a little bit of the fabric Mod Podge there. Remember, this is just working as a glue, basically. It's a fabric glue. 
add that down. If you see a little bit of the um, Mod Podge showing through, don't worry about it because that is going to dry perfectly clear. Now you can also just add sort of a dollop down, place down your embellishment, and then let's add a little pom-pom on top of that. So you can layer this all up however you want. Add a little, little dot and boom. And then you would just continue doing this until you get the design that you want. So if you look over here, we've got a few layers of snow. We added some single pom-poms, did some little trees. You can even cut your embellishments if you need to get them to fit better. It's really, really endless. So you can do something cute like this. I made two of these now, one for Delilah and one for Sophia. And tomorrow morning, we're going to do a photo shoot in them. <laughs> And then this one I made for myself. And for this one, I use this gorgeous fabric. You don't need very much. It's got that really pretty gold stripe in there. So I thought, well, that's really fun and a different kind of candy cane. But I tied my look in using that green and white polka dotted fabric. So we've created a coordinated look, but we're not wearing the exact same things. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. Make sure you use the hashtags plaid crafts and Mod Podge so we can see what you're making. I hope that this idea using fabric Mod Podge has got you thinking how you can create some of your own holiday fashions. <laughs> I'll see you next time, guys. Remember, it's the blue label.